Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Jordan and I'm so excited y'all to be coming in front of you to introduce my new series, a uh, new concept um, that I've been thinking through for quite some time and I'm so excited to bring to you guys and that is book as a playlist. Actually, it's really me treating books like if this book had a soundtrack. You guys probably saw my first playlist that I put out there, All Boys Aren't Blue. Actually, today, my second playlist is dropping. And that is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them, which that playlist, I'm telling you, that playlist is fire. Like, no shade to All Boys Aren't Blue as far as the playlist goes. But that playlist... I mean, I can't, I can't stop listening to it. So I'm so excited to get that one out there for you guys to listen. But today's video, we're gonna do a break by break down of the playlist, of the inspiration, of the songs, because really All Boys Aren't Blue, that playlist was chapter by chapter um, inspiration. And I kinda just wanna walk through, do a journey through book as a playlist for us to discuss the chapters and the songs. And it's almost like a book review through music. I'm, I'm geeked. I hope y'all are geek. Let's get this started. All Boys Aren't Blue starts with Act One, A Different Child. And these first few songs are pretty much inspiration off of that. Let's start with the first one. We got Tyler, the creator, A Boy is a Gun. Don't shoot. Tyler, the creator, say what you want about him. He's artistically just really, his music is just, it is what it is. A boy is a gun, it's like a flip of a girl is a gun, which is a saying and kind of like, you know, the dangerousness of falling in love and all that going on, but it's also a flip on the gender. And I just felt like it was a really, it, it, it just fit in my head. Like that's kind of like when I'm going into a book, that's really what I'm thinking about. And just kind of like the plays on masculinity and how that is viewed holistically. Ooh, and that transition. Oh! into a certain smile. Now this is based off of chapter one, smile. I just, oh, let me just let him sing a certain smile. Smile, chapter one, a smile. I really, the way I picture it, I literally am picturing um, that playing and him walking and him smiling and you know just full of joy but that chapter is also full of a little bit of pain too because how he lost his smile so to speak and i literally am seeing and visualizing that playing throughout that entire scene if you will of his smile being lost and being regained and i just uh it has such a classical cinematic feel to it where uh, you know, you're just hearing it and it's like, uh, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah. Honey Child. So Honey Child, that is an interesting um, song selection for this. One, it's called Honey Child, but Again, when you're going from chapter two, identity into honey child, chapter three, it's really like a play on identity, but also a play on the term honey child. It's a term that George essentially coined in his childhood. Granted, of course, he didn't create it. This song says honey child, and that's back in the 60s. But the way he introduced it to his classroom and stuff was new it wasn't something that anybody had heard before and it started picking up and there's a whole thing with that phrase being almost threatening to parents in a way and it was another way where he just had to suppress his identity and his natural creativity in the way that he expresses himself and because honey child it has like all these like horns and rhythm and I could just see that kid recognizing, realizing that this term like in his head when he's like walking away like, okay, I'm not gonna use it anymore. I literally just hear that playing and ah, uh, yeah. Nook if you book boy, nook if you book boy. It's funny cause me and the author, we're not too far away from age and oh my gosh, this is the anthem right here. I almost gotta let this thing right out. Chapter four, we get into F words, play football too. 
And that chapter, I think I talked about this in my actual podcast episode of the full review of how this is literally what I heard when I saw that scene, essentially, when George has to basically give up double dutch and play with the boys in football and prove almost his masculinity, which I don't, I hate that that's the way that society is like work, but he basically played football as a defense mechanism in order to show his toughness. But there's a scene where no one can take him down. And I just see this boy fight in his way through. But also I picked it because of things that are associated with feminine characteristics or stuff are not necessarily seen as tough. Um, but on this track specifically, the girls' verses are the hardest verses. Say what you want on that track. Okay, girl part. Yeah, we knocking and bucking and ready to fight. I gotta turn that down. I'm getting a little too crunk on that one, but yeah. As you hear, it goes into interlude Tina taught me. And I love that transition because the next one is Honest Abe Lied to Me, the next chapter. And it's basically talking about like the miseducation that you get into school. And I just thought that interlude fit so perfectly of the way in which we have to consume and get our information and have to really learn American history for ourselves and also how black history is just not taught. Anything black is not taught in the core of American history. And then I love how that transitions into I am America. When you're hearing that, it's like, ah, oh, I just love that transition because it goes into what America is and what is who I am. Like, I'm here. You could do what you want. You could try to make force me into sneakers. If I want to wear cowboy boots, I'm wearing cowboy boots. Like, I just, I just love that declaration, which is also going into um, foreshadowing a little bit into the author's cousin Hope, who she is a trans woman and basically the way we're introduced to her in the scene like I feel like this and NO Bounce and even Black Parade can all almost encompass the feeling that I got hearing about her story you know It's a family affair. It's a family affair. That one, you don't even really need an explanation. Act two is all about family and is about um, the author's relationship with his brother, his mother, his cousin, family in general. So this is actually Maxwell's lifetime. And this is still an act two family, but this is a lesson before dying. And I thought it encompassed a lot of the lessons. Um, like when you're listening to Maxwell's lifetime, like he's just on their journey and trying to get out of these dark places, but at the same time, not giving up and kind of taking those lessons to kind of shape and move forward. And I feel like that's almost self-explanatory as to why that track was um, chosen. Sorry we couldn't make it Still I miss you anyway yeah. Ooh. Now this, Another Lifetime, goes so perfectly for Act 3 uh, We should have been prom kings And uh, in high school there was an instance where George saw someone with so many of the characteristics that George himself possessed and wishing the way that he approached that situation or if they could have another go around where homophobia wasn't even a thing and they could just be themselves and be out there like in another lifetime like who knows what could have happened and it's walking through the author kind of processing um kind of what he wished would have happened with that moment there he had a moment where you know, they could have been prom kings. Ugh. It, and that song is just so perfect. Like, that's probably one of my favorite songs um, in this entire playlist, just because of the way it flows into it. Uh, 
uh, you know this voice. When you hear this voice, you already know this is Nina Simone. And dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. Yeah, new dawn, it's a new day. And I'm feeling good. Dun 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 dun. This one, it fits so perfectly because it's literally the author going into college thinking basically this is going to be a new leaf, new identity, not really a new identity, but a ability to be himself truly away. And, you know, this kind of transitions well into the next um, song, which encompasses the next phase of his life where a conversation that he has with a friend kind of jolts him into a situation where he realizes crap things aren't really that different and he starts self-medicating and he even references purple haze and that's how we're getting into this next song purple haze uh, <laughs> um but he starts self-medicating and pretty much is lost in a haze where he's spiraling and i'm so happy to have a Jimi hendrix song on here like for my first playlist to have it and it be this iconic of a song like the guitars in it literally when you're hearing it like you get lost in the guitars and lost in the sauce and i just I freaking love it and it's like you just hear it and it's so funky and it's like I literally see it, all of it it's crazy because that was chapter 14 caught in the haze and the next chapter chapter 15 is losing my virginity twice and yeah let me just transition to the next song because you probably okay let me just let y'all know so the next song is division and it's a sexy song but what I love about it is ah uh, let me just do the transition and I'll talk about it When you hear this, you're just thinking of that, take me as I am, oh, when you hear that, and this is the cover that Division did of Take Me As I Am. You yeah, y'all, y'all don't want to hear me sing. Check out the playlist. I don't, I don't make anything off the playlist or anything like that. I'm just literally sharing my personal playlist with you guys. Um, so yeah, it's just for your listening pleasure if you choose to. And the next song um, is on site and it's kind of going to the twice part. It's more along the lines of a college hookup relationship and then his sexual encounters that follow this initial one. So let's go into that transition before we get into the final chapter. You know it's straight on site. Let's see. I don't even know if I gotta get into that. The next one though, I feel like this one, ah, uh, it was tough picking a song too, but really what I heard is Frank Ocean's solo. And this is basically because the song itself is really kind of Frank Ocean driving. He references high, highways, but also, you know, just riding solo like by myself and kind of like that loss with it, but also the pain and beauty of all of it. And eh. And then it's hell on heaven, the city is on fire in hell, in hell, there's heaven. There's a bullet, a matador, and in the sky. All right, let me stop. So the next one, NL Bounce, this goes into the afterward. And, ooh. Hey, this is such an afterward, is it not? All boys aren't blue, afterward. <laughs> It's like, I want to dance, a, And it's kind of like beauty with it. And it's like surviving all of that. Everybody let's go. Everybody let's, everybody let's go. 
I'm not gonna make a vow. I thought that fit so perfectly. Um, and the last song I'm not gonna go into, but it's the perfect credit song and it's Black Parade, Beyonce. I'm not even gonna do a snippet because I feel like if I even sneeze a beat of Black Parade, <laughs> copyright, don't copy me. Like, it's not gonna be good <laughs> on, on, on YouTube. It's just not gonna be good. But that concludes my playlist. Those are snippets and kind of the thoughts behind the making of Book as a Playlist. Uh, for All Boys Aren't Blue. And I hope you enjoyed this. I have decided I'm putting out content that I really care about and love. And this is one of those that I wanna share with you all. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't make anything off of these playlists. This is literally me sharing my personal playlist just out of my love of music and books and talking about them. So let's keep that going and that same energy down below. Thumbs it up if you do like this video and bruh. I will see you guys in the next one. Love and light. Bye. <laughs> Come in the club, shaking my dress, throwing these bowls and busting these heads. Bitch, you are relevant. Stepping on our wrestling. Piss back up, I send you a lick. I 